Swerve up in Holly's world. I'm Holly, girls. I'm not for everybody. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, it's this. Because, bitch, Portia, I am dead. I am dead. I done already dug up my goddamn six feet where I'm finna go lay in this casket at. Definitely the dead head. And I'm sure everybody else out here in this world feel the same way. So we're just gonna go ahead and be the dead head dealing with this dead ass shit that you got going on that you got out here to offer us. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about it. But my thing is... Portia, you owe that young lady an apology if you're going to go on and have this baby and continue to live your life with him in the near future. A public apology. Just like you came public with the fuckery. Give her a public apology. Let's get into it. I'm fucking dead. Let me call on over here in this motherfucking casket. Hey y'all, hey, welcome to Holly's World and I am your girl Hollywood Uncut and I am back with some yak. So um, let's unplug some of this Hollywood celebrity news. <laughs> In today's vlog video, you know it's a lot of stuff been going on around these streets about your girl Portia Williams. We're going to get into it. So your girl per Portia Williams has been all across social media. She has been all in the vlogs. She has been in all of the videos, guys. Reason being infidelity, cheating, rumors, lies, scandals, entanglements, all the above. You name it, she's entwined with it. <laughs> Portia Williams, as we may know her from um, Housewives. I'm wondering, how are the Housewives feeling about all this bullshit that's going on out here in these streets about the girl? Portia! Portia! I like you. Portia, I am a supporter. But Portia, at this point, I cannot deal with how you moving. I love you, but I don't like how you moving out here in these streets, B. Listen, listen, listen. The cat is out the motherfucking bag now. How is it that you are pregnant? How is it that you are engaged, married, fixed to be, soon to be? How is it that you are dealing with this man? Portia, to each his own, but at the end of the day, it's not about what you do, it's about how you do it. It's not what you say, it's about how you say it out here in these streets, B. Come on, you are all people should know. So guess what, Portia? Bitch, you are on a motherfucking board because you done violated like on some real shit you done broke the bro code the whole code like all the codes out here in these streets gut like i can't believe that you broke the code <laughs> like this man that you're dealing with um he was your ex uh husband or ex-boyfriend's colleague friend uh they was out socializing at a lot of point of times. They worked together. Hmm. Hmm. We're going to go ahead and drink some yak to that. Because that's definitely some motherfucking yak. And let's just for a second, let's get into it for the Hennessy Roll, you guys. Drinking hen in the hen. I got the hen in me and on me. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> Back. For the regular procedure. <laughs> so yeah, Portia, you then broke the code on so many levels, lady. Like you are now the Bravo puppet muppet. You are their puppet. I knew it was gonna be something. I don't even think this is real. 
Portia, you don't like these men that you out here dealing with. You done been through so many men on so many episodes and so many seasons of the reality show that you work on, that you have a job on. Yes, you have been through so many men. Like, come on, like, seriously. And I'm feeling like you starting to get the men that you think have money, money, allegedly money. <laughs> So that way you can secure your bag for the future. Is that what you're doing? Because if that's what you're doing, girl, just say that. Just say that. Just say that, P. Just say that. And we'll understand you more better. Because all this clown shit is just not making no sense. And I'm going to need you to make it make sense. Somebody out there needs to make it make sense for us out here in this world. And then he was over there living all happy and... Living his life, doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Caking and cuddled and cooking for the wife, that is. um, The one that he was with, but then he started cheating on her for Portia. And Portia goes to tell all of us that, I don't know her. She don't know me. We don't hang, we don't talk, we don't kick it, we don't see each other in these streets. I just see her socially and I know her through mutual. Hmm. Let me find out some pictures somewhere around y'all floating down here in these streets portion. Now you gotta remember what you said when you be saying it when you said it, girl. I'm just saying. Facts, receipts, bring them. Mm -hmm. Girl, listen. That man, I went looking all on his Twitter. I went doing me some research, and on his Twitter, he been going in on the ranks lately. And recently, uh, like maybe four months ago, what's this? January, February, March, April, May. January, February, March, April, May. This is like we five months in. So like back in January, where's my phone? My other phone, dang. But back in January, I wish I could show y'all, but y'all can go look on his page. So back in January, he was on Twitter talking about how he loved his wife. How he want to be with his wife, how they soulmates, love at first sight, best friends, made for each other, and going to dear life together to death do them par. You know, they're never going to leave each other. And all this good shit that he was over there writing, typing, screaming, thinking, saying, and putting out for us to fucking believe. But the whole time, that shit wasn't true. Because that was like January, the middle of January. So, he put that, that tweet up like January 12th or something. And then like the next week, he tweeted him and his wife was getting a divorce. And then, now five months in, him and Portia is out on pictures, hugging, kissing, cutting cake. He holding a baby. She pregnant. She got a ring. Um, get Just stop me for a second. Pump your motherfucking brakes because this shit is just moving way too fast for us over here in Holly's Girl. We just got to stop. Let's rewind it back for a minute, you guys. Now, I just told you Simon, right? Simon put those tweets up in January 12th or something. In the second week of January, we did like the third week of January. Then he went on the splurge about him and his wife was not getting along. They was going to get a divorce and things like that, right? But now Portia goes to tell us, y'all, that she is three, three, three months fucking pregnant, right? Right? What a calculator, what a calculator, what a calculator. I'm going to need somebody to do the motherfucking math. Three months. She said she was three months pregnant, right? So come on, y'all. We need a drum roll for you guys to do the math on her three-month pregnancy. That means she was over there bouncing up and down on Simon State itch in January. Think about it. Do the math. Oh, my God, Portia. I can't believe it, girl. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes. You was over there bouncing up on his dick then. When he was making that tweet, you was already messing with him. When he was making that tweet, you was already up on him. When he was making that tweet, he was already up in you. 
Yes, Porsche Wheels. We took to your bullshit, baby. We already getting it and we got a girl and it's out here. Ain't no taking it back. It's already done, B. You gotta clean this shit up. You gotta clean it up. Like on some real shit, you gotta clean it up. Hmm. Y'all. Now, that was her ex-husband. The hot dog man who was owning the hot dog shops and owned the restaurant. You know, he got some dollars. That was her ex-husband co-worker. Is that how you met him? Is that how you slid in? Because we watched you on a few episodes and a few seasons when this man didn't want to marry you, when he didn't want to give you the baby and all of this. So is that the time that you was over there cheating with Simon? Huh, Portia? Huh, Miss Williams? Is that the time that you was over there strutting and strutting your stuff over there with Mr. Simon? Hmm. Yes, Thor, you all tell me. Yeah, you all tell me. I'm just saying, these bitches is out here. It's crazy. They are weird, and they be doing very foolish shits out here in these streets, B. Ha! <laughs> Girl, you was on that. You was on one. And that's what I can see happening. But my thing is, like, it's not too soon. You just had a baby. Now you finna have another baby. You just got out of a relationship, finna get married, jump the broom, bout got married, don't quote me on that, allegedly. And you finna do it all that again with this new man that you barely even know, that you barely even did a hop, skip, and I'm a fucking jump with. Really, Portia? Is that how y'all doing over there, uh, uh, housewives? Is it? Mmm. Okay. Whatever sure it is, is that how you doing it? Because this ain't how you be doing it out here in these streets, B. We don't do it like that. We don't sit with bitches that do things like that. You hear me? Porsche, you got your bag. You got your own thing going on. Why did you have to go interfere with that girl family? And then... The crazy part about it starts, oh my God, oh my God, y'all. Oh my God, this just threw me for a whole loop. This just took me out when I heard it's another light-skinned lady or maybe a white lady, don't quote me on that, allegedly out here pregnant, finna speak up and speak out, and got a, finna have a baby by Simon, and they all supposed to have the same ring, all three of them, really, Simon, let me find out you out here doing it like that. If you is, then us over here in Holly's world, we gotta give you a round of a motherfucking applause. We always do a round of applause when a round of applause is due. And if you out here doing it out here in these streets like that, sorry, then you deserve one. So, stop, come on, let's give Simon a round of a motherfucking applause for everything he out here doing in these streets with all these women, baby. So, Simon, you got Portia, you got your wife, you got this other lady stepping up. How many more others you got stepping out the closet? Let me tell you this, and we're going to sit here first. He got younger women, too. Trust me. That's going to be some more. So, you guys, if you're out there, speak up. Speak out. Don't hide it. Ain't nobody else is. So, just say what you got to say. Do what you need to do and get what you need to get. Because while the getting is good, I see they out here finna be getting his ass. On some real shit. And that's just facts. You feel me? How is the wife going to feel... When Portia have this baby and she know her from being around Atlanta, Miami, you know what I'm saying? And she has to come pick up this baby, you know, because they got kids together, right? So it's going to be very awkward, very weird situation to go through and deal with. Like, don't you trust her and don't you trust her and don't y'all trust him. He got y'all in this motherfucking situation that y'all in now. I'm saying some of these. And I just don't know. But to me, it's all a cahoots. It's all a scam. It's all a publicity stunt. It's all contracted. And it's a contract 
relationship. It's all for the gram. It's all for the book. It's all for the tube, y'all. Let me tell you, it's most definitely, first, importantly, and foremost, for Bravo. Portia, we always give a round of applause, bitch, when a round of applause is due. And since we know what you got going on, when you got going on, why you got it going on, we're going to go ahead and give you a round of applause, sis, because you going ahead and you get in your back all type of ways on the show, outside, in these niggas, it ain't getting no bigger. I see you, B. You been violated. I don't even get it though, yo. Man, I ain't trying to be long winded and keep y'all for a long time, but I'm just saying, man, the shit that she doing out here in these streets, it's not good. It's not cute. That's not how we sit. Baby, that was very unclassy. Very unladylike for you to come out in the public and just put that all out. You know, he got his family already over there. Then he got this other lady. Then, quote, unquote, allegedly y'all got all the same rings. Then this other lady that just spoke up, spoke out. The light-skinned little white lady, I'm not sure. Again, I'm going to keep saying it when I say her name at all times. That she's supposed to be pregnant. So y'all all going to be having a baby? Come on, sister wives. Let's give a round of applause for the sister wives, you guys. Simon, you got it going on, baby. Simon said, Portia, you're going to have this baby. You're going to marry me. Simon says, wife, you're going to sit home. You're going to do what I say. Simon said, side bitch one. You're going to sit there, collect these dollars. I'm going to get here when I can. You're going to see me when I see me. And it is what it is. And we all get what we want. And we all send what we send at the end of the day. Baby, I know somewhere, somehow, somebody right now finna be out the sun on his ass. You feel me? And I already know Portia setting that bag up. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. They meet these celebrity rich men and they get to having these babies and all of that. And they try to convince them to marry them and everything. And it's just like, come on. A baby is not holding these men. You feel me? You see they out here doing... I'm not saying nothing about the LGBTG community or whatever because you already know how it gets down when I get down when I do. Not saying that, but yeah, I support totally fully. But, you know, it's out here. You know, it just is what it is. And let me find out y'all all over there in bed together. Because, yo, Dennis. Dennis is over there in the picture with the baby and Simon just so happy and... That nigga wanted the. Damn near waved like he was walking down the red carpet while he was standing there in that picture. Well, Portia and got motherfucking name Simon on the side. Like, come on now, where'd they do that at? Who raised y'all? Like, on oh, some real. Man, yo, that, that took me out. You know, he on the stomach, he on the side with the door. For real. All of this publicity, I think. I'm not sure, but man, if you're doing it like that, you got it. Cause I just feel like if you was gonna cheat, you don't have to take the you don't have to take the lady's husband. You don't have to get pregnant by the ladies. He's going to hell with gasoline drawers on, as my grandma would say, first and foremost. Let me say that and get that out the way right now, as far as you hear me, and right now he deserves a total, total. <laughs> All at the same time. Got all these ladies out here pregnant, wearing the same green, driving the same cars, living in the same house, neighborhood condos. Like, what? You were supposed to just, you know, have some fun if that's what it was. But no, y'all go further. You were supposed to count up the cost. But instead, you got lost. In the second, in the minute, in the hour, hey, hey, as y'all late. Y'all forgot about tomorrow, as y'all late. 
Then guess what, Simon and P? It was morning. You hear me? It came again. Here it go. It was morning. Did you forget? Did you have to go home to your wife? Oh. Come on now. Fuck out of here. That's some real shit. It's the life you live in. You should know by now. But hey, I get it. It is what it is at the end of the day. And it's not what you do, it's how you do it. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. It's not how you move. It's how you move and with who you moving with. B. Sus. Shorty. And I can't wait till the new season, the new episodes come on, because that shit gonna be lit lit. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be drama. They all gonna be popping up. Portia's gonna be clocking them dollars. She ain't gonna know what to do, what hit her, what came, when, where, how, who, anywhere, any who, any how, any none of them hoes that she be out there dealing with. <laughs> yeah. Man, P, you didn't did it this time. But hey. I'm just here to give my opinion and what I think, baby. And I think that was some straight up bullshit you got going on out here in these streets. <laughs> just think about it that she was on her other feet and you was the man, and you know what I'm saying? If you was the, you know what I'm saying, girl and the husband was cheating on you. Remember, Portia, you been there. You done that. That's why you was went through what you went through years and seasons ago. Let's not forget that. So don't play the victim and the um sub. Pick a side. Pick a pick a side. Pick a side. Pick a pick a side. Hmm. I'm just saying. I see anything can be happening to you too. What you got in your cup over there, girl? Yeah. Man. I don't know y'all, but tell me what y'all think. I know y'all been out here in these streets looking, listening, sliding, been in block, because I've been been in hell of them. I've been just trying to see what's going on. And I'm just saying, man, somewhere, somehow, some people out here got to make it make sense for us because I'm not understanding. But at the end of the day, right is right and wrong is wrong. And we all motherfucking know who's right and who's wrong. <laughs> and it's just not one. It's like two of them. So, a mm -hmm. We're going to see more. we definitely going to hear more. Simon, we're going to see you in the new season. Getting your clout, getting your publicity, getting your ratings, getting your subs, getting your followers. Big time. I already know how it's coming, when it's coming, when they be trying to come through, when they come. That's how I go out in these streets. You got to learn how to work them. And when you work, you just got to know how to work through them. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Simon, get that work. Portia, definitely out here getting that work. Y'all, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Leave a brief comment down in the comment section below. And let me know how you feel about all this that's going around and what's going on. And I'm just waiting to try to see what the other Housewives, sisters, I see it and how they feel about it because I get a man that Portia out here in these streets too. And I heard that what's the show that she worked on with Ricky Smiley and the Brad and all them, and they just over there with the hush mouth like, or with the vision, no see, no hear, no. That's why I said that y'all might be in the bed together. Y'all don't quote me on that. Mm. But anyway. I just came to give y'all that little mmm. And I'll see y'all in the next video, you guys. And it's been a nice one. Thank you.